Well, summer is finally here, and we all want to be outside as much as possible, but skin cancer is a real danger with more than 2 million people diagnosed every year. Dr. Ben Beckler with the U of M Medical Center is here to help talk safety in the sun. So, Dr. Beckler, uh, uh, Beckler we always uh, appreciate you being here. Uh, first of all, let's uh, get this out of the way. It doesn't really matter how tan you are. I mean, you see these people with a darker tan in your figure. Uh, you know, they can handle more sun or someone like me who's pretty fair skinned. It just seems like I burn very, very quickly. We all need sunscreen, though. We all need sunscreen, regardless of our skin type or color. And there's no such thing as a, uh, a protective tan. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, a fallacy. A tan is actually the body's protective response to sunlight. And what about the safe... SPF level. We, we see all these different right, numbers. Right. I try to get the highest one I can because uh, I do all I can to avoid the burn. That, and I see that you brought a property. I did. I, you know, we'll the, let everybody see this you as you tell us about it. The American Academy of Dermatology has put out a really nice graphic. And when we think about sunscreen and its, its selection, you talked about SPF, and that stands for Sun Protection Factor. New regulation came out in 2012. And it's really helped guide manufacturers and consumers and patients to get to get a high quality product. So, mm -hmm. number one, SPF 30 or greater. Okay. Remember that even if you have a 50, it doesn't block 100%. Uh, number two, it needs to be broad spectrum. There was specific regulation about identifying whether or not a product was broad spectrum, protecting against UVA and UVB. Both cause skin cancer. Look for that on the label. Broad spectrum. Broad spectrum. Next, water resistant. There's no such thing as waterproof or sweatproof. So if you see a product claiming that, stay away from it. Water resistant, and they now have to specify whether it's 40 or 80 minutes. Hmm, that water resistant stuff doesn't work, huh? And, well, it will stay on, but not all day, and only, again, 40 or 80 minutes. And you were saying, yeah, you need to, re uh, to reapply every couple of hours, and uh, people don't do that. You have a shot glass rule here uh, that says that should be enough to cover the amount of exposed skin on your body. Uh, that's one of the things on this chart. Uh, but you were also saying something that I found kind of surprising. You should go through half a bottle of sunscreen on one person if you're going to be out for a better part of the day. Absolutely. We need to apply generously the amount of sunscreen that we have on our bodies. Uh, really that 30 mils or one ounce or a shot glass is the amount that we need uh, to apply to our bodies every two hours. Applying in the morning doesn't last all day and certainly not even till noon. And what about the spray on sunscreens? I know we did a story here last week about some concern about those. Uh, are they as effective as the lotions and what are the other concerns? In terms of effectiveness, the big thing that was advertised regarding this product uh, was the, the particle size, the potential spread on the body. However, the opposite may be true. We may not be getting the appropriate generous ap application. And secondly, there's real concerns right now, especially regarding children on inhalation. So I, we do not recommend the use of, of spray products on children uh, because they may inhale the ingredients. Use the old-fashioned uh, cream lotion, slather it on, mm. and do it generously. Especially keep it away from your face and their face. Uh, what if you do get a bad sunburn? What's the best thing you could do to help yourself out? Number one is stay out of the sun. So often people get a burn and they go back in it, mm -hmm. as crazy as that sounds. So number one is protection. Number two is hydrate and moisturize. And number three, then, if you you get a blister, do not pop it. It's actually protective. Mm. So many people go in, they get a blister, which is actually a second degree sunburn, right. which is fairly severe. Uh, stay out of the sun, don't pop it, moisturize, uh, hydrate. All right. Dr. Ben Beckler from the University of Minnesota Medical Center, thanks so much for your time. You bet. Happy to be here.